Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch, hope you're doing great this morning. You know the Bible says that we have the ability, we have the power to bless or curse with our tongue. With what we say is very important to how people respond and act. And sometimes when you feel bad and things are on edge and well like today for example, today is the end of the week and much is on your mind about what's going to happen. You have payday to deal with, you have bills to deal with, you have groceries to deal with, you have uh, weekend plans to deal with, you're in a hurry, a lot's going on. The end of the week has been long and now you're here, the job has been aggravating, whatever the case may be, you are at a critical point to help someone today or hurt someone based on how you speak. Well, of course, we all have bad days quite obviously, but if we're spirit-driven, then this is the key to our response. If we are doing in our hearts, in our minds, what God has called us to do, well then, obviously that makes the difference. James says in the book of James that sweet water and bitter water cannot come from the same fountain. Well, there's people that we deal with that, well, we disagree with. People we deal with that aggravate us. People we deal with that we don't want to fool with. But we as God's people, we as Christians or striving to be. We have a responsibility to share the good news all the time. You say, man, I don't feel like it. Well, I understand that. Sometimes we don't feel like it. But l listen to this. What you leave with someone, I'm going to give you this test. Now listen, what you leave with someone, they remember. For example, you can remember when someone upset you, when someone said something ugly against you. When someone treated you poorly by the way that they spoke about you or to someone else and you heard about it. Well, you see, that same thing happens to you as well. So when you're dealing with folks, it's easy to, well, just to give your opinion. By the way, I've said this before, sometimes we give a piece of our mind we can't afford to lose. And it's very important that we calm down in the spirit, rest in the spirit. The Bible says, be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. In other words, deal with it. Deal with it. Don't hang on to things. Don't let it build up. Don't let it fester in your life. Deal with it. Well, God will bless you for that. Others will be blessed because of that. You see, today is a good day. Today is a day to make a choice. Today is today a day to pass on a blessing. You say, well, I'm upset, I'm aggravated. Well, perhaps, and I understand that. But let's get somewhere uh, alone, maybe even the bathroom, uh, and break at work or whatever. Get somewhere alone and just get with God and say, God, I'm sorry for the way that I feel. I'm sorry for the way that I'm acting. Lord, forgive me. Help me shine the light. You say, uh, Brother Rocky, does this uh, ever end? Do we ever end being servants for others? Do we ever end trying to do the right thing? No, mm-mm. Never ends. Why? Jesus endured the cross, despised the shame for the joy that was set before him. You see, one of these days, and I don't know when that's going to be, but one of these days we're going to graduate. We're going to graduate from this school of life into a life of eternal life. And well, everything we do here is going to make a great difference. You say, well, I just don't feel like it. Well, you didn't get saved by feelings. You got saved by faith. Say amen, somebody. And God said he'd take care of you. So today is a good day. Smile at someone. Let them know that this is a good day. Make sure you get in the corner somewhere and ask God to help you because he will. And well, God will make a way for you. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.